We're back uh, to Israel, uh, to the crisis in the Israeli education system. Tens of thousands of students at Christian schools in the country have been on strike for over two weeks in protest of massive cuts to their government funding. The crisis is evoking the opening or the open wounds of a racial injustice in Israel. I'm Asik has more. It's week three into one of the most prolonged strikes in the Israeli education system. The Christian schools in Israel are on strike and 33,000 pupils have still not started their school year. Why are they striking? The reason is Israel's changing policies of education under new minister Naftali Bennett from the Jewish Home Party. The government used to fund 75% of Christian schools' budgets, with parents paying the rest in tuition. However, the amount the state pays was cut to 34% in 2013. In addition, the Ministry of Education is now limiting the tuition that can be required by the schools. Protests have been held since September 1st, the official start of the Israeli school year. The most recent one, at the Israeli parliament, where Arab lawmakers showed up to stress the significance of these schools for the Arab population. More than 80% of all Arab employees in the high-tech industry are graduates of Christian schools. These schools are crucial for the success of our society. 50% of all students are Muslim and 50% are Christians. These schools are a blessing for the Arab population in Israel. But in an increasingly tense social environment in Israel, the fight for funding of Christian schools has also taken on a political meaning. This is a scarlet letter of shame for the Israeli government, a sign of shame for Israeli democracy. We will not stop our fight. We will continue with the strike. We are not looking for handouts. We are looking for justice. So what do they want? Christian school representatives are demanding that the Ministry of Education provide about 200 million shekels, or $50 million, in government funding. Now, as the strike marks its 16th day, the National Organization of Teachers in Israel may join the strike in order to highlight the pupils' plight, adding extraordinary pressure on the Minister of Education to find an immediate solution. And with me uh, right now here in the studio is our correspondent, Ayman Sixta. Good evening. Good evening, Lucy. You are a graduate of uh, one of the Christian schools here in Israel, here in the Jaffa, uh, in the Jaffa city. Uh, let's explain to our viewers what is the Christian schools, because when you are saying Christian school, it gives us something else in mind. That's right. People expect that if it's a Christian school, then it's Christian education and a Christian population that goes to the school. When really, just as we heard in the story, at least 50% of the students that go there are Muslim. When I was there at the school in Jaffa, there were a lot of Jewish students as well, and international students that come to Israel and want to study at a school where the education language is French. So really, it's a cultural being. It's a cultural coexistence that doesn't happen anywhere else in Israel. You know, uh, one of the claims is that uh, basically the taxpayer, the Israeli citizen, is saying, why should I um, finance these schools when they are private schools? If a parent wants to send his child to a private school, let him pay it. I should not pay this from my tax money. Well, I think the problem is that the Israeli government has not been unique or has not taken a specific line with all the schools when it comes to funding in this case. And you are talking about the ultra-Orthodox That's schools. right, who receive a lot of funding, as we know, and with Naftali Bennett as the new uh, education minister, who has not yet commented publicly on the strike. And it's increasing frustration among these students, among the representatives of the schools, among everyone involved in the strike, that the Israeli government does not care about their strike or about their education. Now, aside from 33,000 pupils sitting at home, 3,000 teachers who teach at these schools are also at home. These are the teachers who are responsible for the extremely impressive numbers and success rates. If the education minister doesn't care about that, I don't know what he can care about. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm in six, six Thank you very, very much uh, for this. Uh, and we're going out for a small break, an update from our news desk. And then we will be back for the third part of the news today. Don't go anywhere.